Me and Alexa just, we did 150 questions to fall in love, you know? <laughs> and she hated every second of it. <laughs> she was like, this is cringe. It's been hard, hasn't it? Let go of a prayer for you. How you doing with everything? I'm good. Just a sweet word. You know, it's okay if you're not. Kelvin was the first actor that came on. I kind of sent this script his way, and we like collaborated on it together, and like I really wanted to make a fantastic character for Kelvin. I mean, I think he's the heart and soul of the movie until Tay takes over, and you met Lucas, and now we're here, and I'm so, so blessed to have you, because you're incredible in the movie. I think for everybody here, it kind of felt instinctual for all of us in our relationships. We all have such a natural chemistry, all of us, and so, it kind of was just what we found on the day, and there were, there were a lot of moments that felt, I guess, like serendipitous. Sterling is, I love him so much as an actor, and I have so much respect for him, but he's a scary dude. He showed up to wrestling practice and with his mug face on, and he was ready to go. But he's, he's, so, he's so gentle, and he was so sweet with me, and we had a lot of great conversations about the, the dynamics between a father and a son, and, and this expectation he has for him, and this love, and this admiration. So that kind of all blends together, and I kind of see him as, you know, icon Sterling K. Brown, you know? And it just works that way in the movie and translates really beautifully. I know you're under a lot of pressure right now, but I'm just getting really scared. It definitely drained me a bit, but it was, it also helped me heal a lot of, you know, my own personal traumas that I kind of had stuck inside of me from being in high school that I'd never really fully recovered from. So it was a really, it was a beautiful experience. It took me some time to get back into my groove. Taylor was very consoling and we would hit the spa, but <laughs> it was um, a lot for all of us, but we wanted to do our best and that's all that mattered. There was such a good um, camaraderie on the set and like love for each other. We hung out a lot before we went dancing, you know, we went to the beach together. We celebrated Taylor's birthday at the beach. I think it's about that love and that connection, that safe space that we created that kind of makes it a little bit easier once it's done, it's done. So much of my performance in that movie is who she allowed me to be. I, I don't know, I think, I think there were, we found a lot of humor and, and, and the way in which I think she held the space for, for me just to be the part of myself that isn't seen a lot in movies. That's what I attribute our intimacy and, our, and, and who I was in the movie to. It was sort of just there and, and she really was supportive of me in a, in a way that was grounding for me. I've held on to way too much hate in my life. But all we have is now. All we have is now. There's some autobiographical sad stuff at the end of the movie that we recreated. That was very, very difficult uh, for me to do. It was recreating one of the most traumatic uh, experiences of my life. So actually doing it uh, was it was nuts. It was just filled with dread. I almost couldn't function. I was just filled with dread and um, yeah, but it was cathartic to be to have it out in the world and it's not mine anymore and it's other people's so it's very surreal. It was very cathartic. I don't know, part of me is, says I hope people take away whatever they take because it's, it's your individual experience. There's a lot of healing and a lot of hope in this, in this movie in Waves. I, I hope that people can can feel that message of love and and forgiveness and that there's no bad people and people make mistakes and and you can still have love and support in that